Hey everybody, it's Master Galgeist here, bringing you my review of Doctor Strange issue 11. So overall, I was really happy with this issue, setting up kind of what's happened after the Empirical has been defeated. So, we get this kind of cool juxtaposition, we get Doctor Strange kind of in the beginning of his journey to being a Sorcerer Supreme, and then present day, which kind of mirrors that journey, now we got a kind of stranger kind of less magical place, but magic is kind of reasserting itself. So, in the flashback parts, we see Doctor Strange kind of beginning his journey, trying to get uh, mutant hormones to try and repair his hands, find any way to repair his hands. There's kind of a nice little bit with him getting laser cyclops eyes and like freaking out, but then the uh, ancient one uses astral projection to kind of like resuscitate Doctor Strange and set him more on his journey. And as we see, he's working through more of the magic. And uh, Baron Mordo says, I've got this elixir that'll fill your hands. Just go away. Just go away. Because he wants to learn the secrets of the ancient one. He wants to be the Sorcerer Supreme. He wants the power of magic. And Doctor Strange is like, no, I choose magic. And then he is done with the fight. He's all beat up. And the ancient one's like, are you thinking of leaving? He's like, nope, I'm not leaving until I learn everything. And he's like, well, we got a lot of work to do. And then we see present day where Strange kind of talking with people and saying, well, got to learn new spells and everything. He's back to square one. And it's cool kind of seeing well, the different kind of art styles as well works very well, I think, showing the past and also the present. And I actually really like the present one. I mean, I've really liked the artist that they had with the series so far, but this wasn't a bad one. It really did the kind of magical weird creatures very well, while also doing a good job of presenting the characters of Strange, his new assistant, and uh, all the kind of stuff going on very well. Very nice faces, very expressive. It's really kind of good. So, he's going through. He sees this thing. He's trying to beat it off of this one person, but he gets his ass whooped, so he goes back to his house. He's like, all right. She's telling him, okay, here's a book of spells that don't work. Here's a book of spells that do. You can probably tell which one. And he's like, all right, cool. And he's walking off doing his thing. And then he's going off and gets his barbed wire baseball bat that's enchanted wire. He goes off and saves the day for that one person. And that's the point. He just, one person at a time. And they, he's <laughs> just confused with, like, a homeless person, like, get a job, you're bummer. He's like, I have a job, thanks. And it's just kind of cool setting that up that, yeah, he's going to have to claw his way back to being the Sorcerer Supreme, but he's done it before, and he'll do it again. And it was just really cool and effective way done, and I'm excited to see where this series is going to go. So, that's my review of the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.